totally craving a pizza right now and I've got loads of pumpkin so that can only mean one thing that I am honoring those cravings by making this delicious pumpkin crust pizza it is so super healthy easy and delicious you only need a couple of really basic ingredients really high in protein and satisfying and I thought that it would be like the perfect recipe for Halloween coming up as well definitely need some delicious savory items I see a lot of Halloween recipes that are like sweet based so I feel like a savory recipe is what we need or as Americans say it's also a great recipe for the fall <laughs> so make sure you keep watching if you want to know how to make it so for a healthy pumpkin pizza, you're going to need, of course, some pumpkin puree. Now I've steamed and pureed my own pumpkin until it is this beautiful paste consistency. And if you've made too much like I have, you can freeze it or you can make some delicious pumpkin spice lattes. And trust me, they're addictive. You'll go through the pumpkin pretty quickly. It also makes a really great mash for meals on the side. Then you're going to need some self-raising flour. I recommend some wholemeal self-raising flour or I'm just using some wholemeal spelt flour here and then I've added two teaspoons of baking powder and also some sea salt. You're going to need some really good quality extra virgin olive oil. So I'm using this garlic infused one which is so delicious. I've basically used it in all of my savory recipes. It is such a staple. Then to top pizza, you are going to need some tomato paste. Now today I'm just using this sugar-free tomato sauce which believes me, tastes delicious and adds this really nice sweetness to it. It's sweetened naturally with stevia. Then obviously you're going to need some cheese. Now I'm using this low fat cheese. Make sure to always buy it in the block and grate it yourself. And I like to do this in bulk and then freeze. So that's why you can see that it's a bit frozen. And I'm also going to use some bocconcini. You can use whatever cheese you like, but I just think that these are so pretty on top. They're little milk cherries. <laughs> And then I'm keeping the topping really simple with a medley of tomatoes and these are so gorgeous. I bought them fresh from the market today. Not only do they look amazing, but they also taste like candy. They're delicious. And then after that's all baked, I'm going to top it with some fresh organic basil. And that is the recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is make our dough. Super simple, three ingredients, you can't mess this up. So I've already made my pumpkin puree and I've just scooped out what I need, which is about one and a half cups of the pumpkin puree into the food processor. Then we add our self-raising flour, or in my case, I've just added some wholemeal spelt flour with two teaspoons of baking powder, and I've already seasoned it with salt, given that a mix, and it's ready to go. And I add that into our food processor. I just dropped some on the floor. Oops. And then also a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. You can also use coconut oil if you prefer. I am using the garlic infused extra virgin olive oil, which is delish. And I just add that in and that is going to really help make our dough crispy exactly the way a pizza should be but if you prefer and you're trying to reduce the fat you can also replace it with some Greek yogurt or plain yogurt whatever you like and then we're just going to process this mixture until it becomes like foamy and you'll see it start to come together really nicely So now that our dough is nice and elastic -y, as you can kind of see, it is ready to knead. Now this will be a really quick process just to make sure that it's nice, smooth, combined and elastic. So what I'm going to do is dust the surface with flour, a clean surface of course, and then just work that dough. So kneading this dough will take about two minutes, about give or take. I have just done this amazing Pilates class this morning because I was launching this activewear and because we're still on lockdown here in Melbourne, we did it through Zoom. So yeah, it's been so weird. It was like actually my first event that was done through Zoom. I guess my favorite thing about <laughs> that is that we didn't have to travel anywhere. Like, I mean, obviously I would rather be traveling and out and about and just in a non-pandemic crisis world. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, there's pros and cons to the whole thing. And it's been pretty crazy. Just, I hope you make sure to take some time for yourself, do some cooking, work this dough. 
So you can see that it is like such a gorgeous orangey pumpkin Halloween cover. Really get it nice, smooth, and you basically feel like you're in Italy watching a pizza guy make it for you. But since we can't go to Italy right now, then the best option is this pizza with a healthy twist. And you're going to roll out our pizza into a pizza shape. You can do a square, you can do a circle, you can do an oval, whatever you like. What kind of pizza do you guys prefer? Do you prefer like a thick doughy crust or do you prefer like a thin crispy crust? Work your biceps and triceps and shoulders. And also bring your abs as well because I'm definitely putting all my effort into it. So I've got a prepared tray. I always use a reusable baking mat. Voila! So we got there in the end and it is looking really good. It is super huge, but that's great because then there's more that I can meal prep and freeze for later and always have pizza on hand. So what we're gonna do now is let that rest for the 10 minutes and cover it with like a plastic wrap. Or I kind of like try to avoid using plastic wherever possible, as you can probably tell. So I am just going to cover it with like a moist tea towel. So while we wait for our pizza dough to rest, we're going to prepare the toppings. Let me know in the comments below what toppings you like. I'm definitely like a simple margarita girl. Like a margarita done really well and simply is just perfection. But I also love smoked salmon. I don't know, some people think that's weird. I don't think that's weird. Anyway, so today we're kind of going for like a simple margarita style pizza. I've got my low fat cheese. Now you'll notice that it is quite like a thin, shred so i did this in my food processor i like to buy the cheese in a block because not only is the flavor of this better but the block also doesn't have preservatives and fillers in it so that's why i always make sure to get the block because the shredded the pre-shredded cheese even though it saves you time like a little bit of time it always has preservatives in it and so we want to avoid all of those nasty add-ons i like to use some bocconcini aka milk cherries like they're delicious, they're sweet, and when they're melted fresh from the oven, oh my gosh, you're gonna die and go to delicious heaven. So I just have to show you this again because they are so pretty. I'm gonna make sure that our oven is preheated to 200 degrees Celsius, fan forced, or 220 degrees without a fan. And our pizza has finished resting, so it is time for the best part, which is putting in all the delicious toppings. We have got our beautiful pizza base here. I can really smell that really strong pumpkin taste and I reckon it has to do with the fact that I use fresh pumpkin and not canned pumpkin. Make sure as well if you're using canned pumpkin, I forgot to mention, that it's not sweetened and has like added nasties in it. Just pure pumpkin puree, no sugar. And now that we've got our perfect pumpkin base, so we are going to use our sugar-free tomato paste slash tomato sauce. It doesn't really matter they're obviously both turn out the same. This, this one has a nice touch of sweetness to it because it's been sweetened for a little bit of stevia. And I always make sure, obviously, to get ones with no colors and preservatives. So I put this on quite generously. I did not just spot them. So I'm just making sure to spread this nice and evenly, covering all of the surface except for our rustic crust. Breaded low fat cheese. Then I'm actually going to top it with some oregano, just a little bit to season, and then top it with our beautiful tomatoes. Then I'm just going to quickly season it with some pink salt and pepper. And top it with our bocconcini. So now our delicious pizza is ready to bake in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Here it is, our pizza is out of the oven and it smells amazing. The whole kitchen is with the aroma of this beautiful pumpkin crust. And you can see how like nice and golden it is as well and that bottom chain has just melted so perfectly. Now all that's left to do is decorate it with some basil and then you're ready to enjoy it. You can also drizzle it with some olive oil if you like. That's what they do in Italian restaurants but I don't think it needs that and it totally adds hundreds of calories to it which is totally unnecessary. So I'm just going to freshen it up with the basil only. Sick. 
We shall now put to the test. Mmm. So good. Mm. So there we go, that's done. I really hope you try this recipe at home. It is so super delicious and do let me know in the comments what you thought about this recipe and if you're gonna try it at home, which I hope that you are. And if you did like this recipe, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you wanna see more healthy recipes like this. Thank you so much again for watching.